Hello everyone, it's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you along and welcome back for those who have been supporting me for so long. And I so appreciate your support. Um, I have two things today and the first thing I'm going to be doing is um, showing you my next project. And then I've got some happy mail I'd like to share with you. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to do the next project, and it is going to be working with the Stamperia Voyages Fantastiques, and it's an 8x8 pad. I know the last time I did a Stamperia, I used um, the 12x12, and so somebody had said, you know, they kind of would like to see an 8x8, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I'm going to break it down and uh, do something from start to finish. It's going to be a tutorial. I am going to try 90% of what I do will be from either the um, pad or it will be from things that are, you know, I think are kind of easy for you to um, get. In other words, I'm not going to be doing digitals because I know that a lot of you don't have access to a computer. So here we go. I'm going to be working. Oh, let me just show you what these are. And it's, it's a nice, um, it's kind of a light steampunk. It's not heavy and grungy, but it's very fun. Very fun. And these are just uh, some of the pages here. I think I paid hmm, a little over $7 for this. Kind of depends. You know, you got to look around on Amazon. Uh, different dealers have different prices, but any who's there's 10 pages here and uh, two pages of ephemera love all this stuff yeah but I like the balloons and this could be a page of ephemera too uh, with the gears or you can use this in the back here we go I love these colors just I'm just so in love with aquas and turquoise I don't know why and this is the little um, bones uh, that we're going to be working with. So I made this the right size uh, to fit you know, the paper on. You can take a half a sheet and it's just the right size to layer on one page. And so that's how I made the measurements for that. So I'll, uh, in the first video, I'll show you how I assembled this. I also, um, I always like to recommend with these to go out and uh, look for some matching cardstock, plain cardstock. And you probably don't need these many sheets for sure. I just sort of took everything I had and... Um, pulled what I thought would go well but you need a nice neutral to go with this and so I pulled these two I'm not sure which I'll use <laughs> but these are two neutrals that uh, will go with it and then um, I like if I can pick up one of these colors I, I like to do that as well so I probably be going with this one now on the camera you're looking at this is very blue yeah, I'm just now looking at it. It's like, oh, that is very blue. So this is a lot more green than it is blue in real life. So, anywho's, I'll probably be using one of those. I also uh, think it's a nice idea to, if you're looking for scrapbook paper, and you can go look at the, the bins where they sell paper by the sheet. Um, Hobby Lobby and Joann's, I think, will do that. And um, pick up paper you think might complement it. And so I have this. I thought this was kind of fun, kind of steampunky fun. Um, these might be a little big. I don't know. Just thought I'd pick it up anyway. So pick up a few sheets of those just to kind of give uh, a little variety to your um, scrapbook pages so and then one last thing you are going to need of course this isn't all your supplies but one other thing you're going to need some kind of cloth for the spine and if you're new to scrapbooking 
I would recommend you buy a quarter of a yard of muslin, just plain muslin, nothing expensive. It doesn't matter. Um, and I like to wash it because I don't like it to be real pressed looking. I kind of like this wrinkly thing. And I also tea stained this, but you don't have to do any of that. But you do need some cloth and you will use cloth for other things uh, as you see come up. So uh, it won't be for just this. You'll whatever you have left over, which you'll have a lot left over, but you'll use it. And uh, I went ahead and went into my stash and you know I got these so but but the plane would work just as well but you know I got fancy right got some Tim Holtz uh, fabric here so you will need some cloth and anyways that's what we're going to be working on I hope you will join me and subscribe uh, so now let's look at the happy mail that I got so here is the big package, nice big package that I got from Marie Bell. Thank you, Marie Bell. And filled with goodies. So let's take a peek at some of the goodies in here. There were a couple of smaller packages. And uh, this one had some um, really great old... Uh, vintage book pages in here with these great illustrations. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this illustration. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, so this will be a lot of fun to, um, I do believe it's a children's storybook. Just, it'll just be a lot of fun to uh, journal with and to add into the journals. And then there's a smaller or not small, a second envelope. And in here, we have uh, this really interesting, uh, they look like napkins, but it's like a burlap, like a pink burlap. And it'll be really interesting to cut this off and make a trim on things. Really thought that was fun looking. It had some of these embroidery, aren't they sweet? I love little Scotties. I used to have one long time ago. And some more embroidery. Lovely embroidery with little geese on there. This beautiful, um, what is it? Battenberg, I think it's called. I don't know what, I forget. But anyways, this beautiful trim on here, which will be lovely on a journal. So I have a couple, three of these guys. And they got some nice embroidery on here. That would be fun to put on some covers. And then I got these aqua. And this is one of my favorite colors. This is this turquoise aqua color. So that's going to be really neat. So these are little pearls. And it's so funny because I was out the other day and I was going to buy some pearls. Because um, I didn't have any. Another one that would have been so great with my last journal. Uh, and these lovely little doilies. That'll be fun. Cute little hearts. And, and here's a few more. All oh, these beautiful buttons. Beautiful aqua buttons. This will be great um, to actually use for... Uh, uh, elastic um, closures. You know, you put your elastic through that to kind of keep it decorative. Some more of these little lace. These are coasters. Aren't they cute? <laughs> or little chip chipboards, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's, it's chipboard is what it is. But it's really cute. It'd be cute on a cover. Of a little uh, farmhouse journal with that you see and this really old piece of paper here that has all these songs all these old songs 75 favorites you love to sing yep I'm just gonna have to read this some of these I learned in my childhood and um, so that was what's in here so I told my husband, I said, you know what, I just received 
I no, how do I say I said this? I said, I just got just won the five thousand dollar lottery. And he looks at me like maybe he's almost ready to believe me. And I says, Well, no, it's all monopoly money. <laughs> so this was all sent she sent all this money to me, which is it's just really it's just a lot of fun. And uh, we have a monopoly, a family monopoly game that we enjoy. It's called uh, it's the Star Wars edition. A long time ago, got it years ago. And uh, you know what? We could use more money, <laughs> but this will be fun to uh, put into journals. You know, all these different colors. It'll just be fun to kind of stick it in there. So, oh, that's. I appreciate that. So thank you, Marie Bell. I just love everything I got, and I'm going to have a good time with that. So I hope you subscribe so that you can see how I am going to put together um, this little um, 8x8 from Stamperia, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun together. Talk to you soon. Bye.